and give hope. This is a, a YouTube channel which is just me passing on my thoughts and ideas. I don't have any prior knowledge and I've got to see all these things because one or two I don't see it in all my videos but it's just to give you a you know an idea of what I'm doing. Mostly I run a page on Facebook called DC Fan Gives Hope and it's uh, positive stuff about everything DC related. Um, but our main concern right now is the movies because it's the movies that really has everybody's attention and, and it's, it's full of the net and I'm there to defend every single one of them. And it's a challenge, not a challenge because they're bad, because they're bloody good, but it's a challenge because you're dealing with, you know, biased and Marvel fans, Snyder fans, DC comic fans and everything else. So I'm trying to unite all of them. And one of the biggest things that's came up recently is news about the Joker. Uh, the Joker saw a standalone Elseworld kind of movie. And some people, are, of course, have said, and I, I used to think it myself, that the public isn't ready for it. The pu public will be thinking, that's not Gerard Leto playing the Joker. But I have got more confidence in the public and to understanding that this is a sort of different world here. I mean, we're surrounded by movies that concern maybe different dimensions. If it's not in the movies, it's in the TV. It's in TV shows where you go and see what life would have been like if somebody else did that. So I think with the Joker, I think a paragraph of writing at the start would clear it all up. You know, some sort of explanation of what the this film is about and that's excuse me, not a part of the DCU. But is it a good thing to do this so early in the game? Uh, when DC is still, a lot for majority of people, still trying to find a good footing in the cinema. And to have something like a Joker film come out one minute and then another Joker and film coming out the next. Uh, and to answer that, you know, it's... Oh, let me answer that with another question or another wee debate is... There are some people who don't get the concept on based. And they are they look at these characters and they compare they pay, compare the characters or actors or whatever to what has gone on before, and they feel like that isn't my Joker. That's not the Joker I write about. That isn't my Batman. That isn't my Superman. Yada yada. So people can be like, no, I don't want to watch that. It's, he's not playing them right or who. And and it's just, so, but if a couple of versions of the one actor or that, then people may realise that um, you know we're never going you're never ever going to get a character that you write that you have in your head okay you're never going to get the way everybody sees that character differently and even Batman some people say he's a hero some people say he's a vigilante some people say he's nuts some people say he's that there are so many ways you know it's like when you read a song, not everybody's reading off the, the same song sheet or whatever the saying goes. So to have all these different depictions of a character should be fine. It's, you know, and it should be explainable by... For, for instance, if, if they bring out Suicide Squad 2, right, uh, first and then you see Joker or something or a Joker Harley Quinn movie right so you got that there and three months down the line you'll have another person playing the Joker so with different actors different characters and everything else so then you know that that film is different and not connected to the last one so it's it's it could be as simple as that so it's uh, and to be honest what do we get as fans we get more. We 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 will get more possibility. You know, with the, the way DC animated cartoons go, where we'll get our favourite stories maybe done up as a comic book. Well, who knows that may happen in the movies as well. But let us know your thoughts and feelings down below, and make sure you check out DC uh, DC Fan Gifts Hope Facebook page. 
HailTheVillains.com that thanks for liking us or subscribing to any of the DC Fan Gives Hopes. You get a 15% discount by just putting in that secret password, DC Hope. Thank you very much.